Hey guys and welcome to another episode. Today in this video I'm going to show you how to install a cold air intake on your car. Now I've done this install on my car but I didn't really get into YouTube and really start making videos at the time. But we've got the Volkswagen Golf behind us and we're going to show you today how to install a new cold air intake on the car. So the idea behind this is we're going to be replacing the stock intake right here and we're going to be replacing it with a cold air intake. So the pickup location for the intake is going to be lower that essentially is going to be picking up colder air than say the air that's going to be picked up right here inside the engine bay. So we're going to be replacing all of this piping with new piping. We're going to be replacing this pipe right here and everything after it with this pipe with a filter on the end of it. Now whether it actually makes power or not is irrelevant. Theoretically when you do a tune along with the cold air intake you 100% will get power. But if you install a cold air intake or a short ram intake on your car without doing a tune you might not notice any power. The one thing that you will definitely notice is the intake noise that a cold air intake or a short ram intake will make once you have it installed on the car. It's going to be night and day difference and it's going to have a nice mean growl to it. So we've got the engine right here, the intake manifold. And if we come up here, we have the throttle body, and before that, we have the intake. So this entire part down here, so all of this, along with the piping that comes along down here, is all going to get replaced. So the new piping is going to replace everything after right here. So all of this is going to be gone, and it's going to be putting the intake piping down below. And you'll see later where exactly it's going. So first things first, we're going to have to remove the sensor on top of the intake, and that's going for the mass airflow sensor. So disconnect it and set it aside. Next up, we're going to be removing the hose clamp that's securing the old intake box onto the intake manifold. So that piping right there is going to be going right towards the throttle body. So just remove the clamp out of the way, and then you'll be able to separate the old intake box from the hose that's leading right to the engine. So after that, if you have any screws that are securing the intake box onto the car, you're going to want to remove them. So we had one right there, and another one down there that we removed. So now the intake box should be free, so you should be able to just pull on it, and it'll come out. So when the air comes into the engine, it needs to be measured somehow. Now in every car, you're gonna have a mass airflow sensor, a mass absolute pressure sensor, or you might have another style sensor that just determines how much air is coming into the engine. Now there's many different kinds. However, we need to save this part here so that when we install the cold air intake, the computer is still gonna know how much air is passing through this pipe. And that determines how much air is gonna be going into the engine. With the air box now removed, you can see that there's two Phillips head screws that are securing this sensor here onto the air box. So it's just a matter of removing both of them with a Felipe and taking it out. So make sure that when you're installing your mass airflow sensor back onto the intake, you make sure that you install it the proper way. And if you can tell, just right there in the light, you can see that there's an arrow and that's pointing in the direction of the airflow. So make sure that this is pointing towards the intake manifold. So before we can install the cold air intake on the car, we need to remove this tray down here and this line right here that's for the old air box because we've got to shove this pipe right here down in there and as it stands there isn't enough room well it's out it's a breather tube so this leads this like a reso tube, yeah. yeah yep okay so that we don't need with colder intake on but we got to remove that piece this right here because there isn't enough room to shove a pipe inside that little hole That stupid piece. Oh, there Can't we go. Kill it broke. <laughs> Guess I'm not using that anymore. <laughs> Don't need it. So that snapped off, but there was also a bolt holding it in right there. Yeah, one sec. <clears throat> there we go. <laughs> so as it stands, we have this loose. This isn't installed yet because we didn't install the mass airflow sensor. However, we have this side of the pipe down here fit into this and we're gonna have to install the cone filter down there. Now as it stands it's only mounted up by this little uh, rubber washer grommet thing whatever you want to call it and that is holding the pipe down there in place. So you're gonna to have to use another nut just like this to secure the bottom side of it and then we're gonna to have to install the cone filter on the end of the pipe. So we just attached the mass airflow sensor back up to the intake part right here that goes to the throttle body. So we now have this clamped in and then we need to attach the intake part up to here. Okay, so we're gonna slide up both the pieces and then slide that in like, like so. Now we're gonna be grabbing one of these pieces, one of these clamps to secure it down and hold it in place. So we now have this mounted up. 
The wire is plugged in for the mass airflow sensor. We tighten both of these up and then we just installed and put on the filter down on the end of the cold air intake. So right now that is sitting on the bottom and it's hooked up like this and we're clamping on the, this little silver clamp down here. We're tightening that up so that the air filter isn't gonna move. So from underneath the car, I'll show you guys where the air intake is. So it's right down there and it's made to suck in cold air from inside the wheel well. So we've got our horn right there and it's just sucking up the air that's gonna be coming in right here through the bumper and it's gonna be going right to the cold air intake. Here's a better shot of it. So we have the filter right there attached to the pipe and if we come up here to inside the engine bay, we can see that the intake is just right there. So that little silver piece is what we're gonna be tightening up to secure the intake, the filter, up to the pipe. Now it's just a matter of installing the battery back onto the car and then we're gonna be able to turn the car on and see how it sounds. And that, guys, is how you install a cold air intake on your car. Now, it's very simple. There's not really much to it, and you're not going to be damaging anything on your car. Now, as it stands with a regular cold air intake on your car with a stock tune, so the tune that the car came with from the manufacturer, you're probably not going to be making extra horsepower. All that you're going to be doing is making more noise. But if you want to make extra horsepower from this, you're going to have to go with an aftermarket tune. There's no other way around it because that way you're gonna have a proper tune for your cold air intake. If you guys wanna see how to install a tune on your car, I'll have an annotation for another video right here. You can click on it and you guys are gonna find out, I guess, the second part of this process for more power. If you guys have any questions regarding this video, throw them down in the comment section below and I'd be happy to help. Again guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Now just a final thought, because you have the intake down here and it's exposed to say water or whatever, if you guys can, go online and buy a Hydra Shield. Now what it's gonna do is it's gonna keep the water from going into the intake because if you suck in some water when you're driving and the engine is still going, what you can do is you can hydro lock the engine. And at that point, the engine's killed. If you wanna see what that is, Google it. Hydro locking the engine is not fun. So just keep that in mind and install a Hydra Shield on the air filter. Yep, that's an engine. Uh -huh.